Hey there, I'm Douglas from DraftBit. In this video, we're going to be exploring the open app link action. This is a powerful way to open external applications from inside your DraftBit application using URL schemes. With this action, you can seamlessly open the phone, SMS, email, browser, or even Google Maps with a single button tap. This is useful for adding quick navigation, contact actions, or deep linking with other applications. For this demo, I've already set up several buttons, each linked to a different app, I'll walk you through how each of these works and how you can customize them for your needs. Let's get started. So first, I have an email button and if we go to interactions, open on press, you'll notice that we can search for an action. We're going to search for open app link. And when you click this, it's going to give you that action and then it's going to ask for your URL. This URL is going to point to a certain application and based on the application that you're pointing to, it's going to be able to identify and it's going to be able to open that application. For example, if you are pointing to an email application, then it's going to open Gmail or any other email client that you have on your device. If it's a link to open Google Maps, then it's going to open Google Maps. If it's a link to open the telephone, or if it's a link to open an SMS, then it's going to do so. So in here, you just put that link scheme and I'm going to show you what these links look like. So let's delete, then I'm going to show you what I already have. So I already created this. And this is for the email button. And it starts as mail to, then you put a colon, then you put the email. So now when we click this button, right? So since this device we've set up Gmail, but what's supposed to happen when you click that button, it's supposed to open Gmail, then create an email. And on the to, on the recipient, it's going to put that email that you said mail to. So up next, we have the call button. And let's open and see what that looks like. So on press, open app link, then the URL is tell, then colon, then you put the phone number. So when clicked, the system's dialer opens with the provided number already entered. Then you just have to dial to confirm. So when we click this, it opens the system dialer and the number is already pre-filled. Then up next, we have SMS. So similarly, this button opens the default messaging app with the number already pre-filled. So let's open that and see what it looks like. So when you click for details on the URL, it's SMS, colon, then you put the number. And once you do that, now when we click this button, it's going to open the messaging application and the number is already pre-filled and then we just have to type the SMS. So already you're starting to see how powerful this feature is. For your application, you can have a button, like those buttons that you see, it says WhatsApp and then someone clicks then it opens the WhatsApp chat and it's already typed the number. It's maybe it's already typed even a message and then you just have to click send. So these, this is how we achieve those kind of functionalities. Then up next, we have website. Let's see what that looks like. So that's just, you know, a normal link. And once you do that, then we click the website link. It's going to go to the website that we specified. Then up next, we have Google Maps. Uh, let's open, then let's see. So this is going to do a search on Google Map and it's going to search for Shake Shock. So it's a query of you're searching for a certain location, right? So when you click this, it's going to search for that location, right? And as you can see, it says uh, Shake Shock, it searches for that location. Yeah, it's complaining a bit, but we, we, can, we can get the point. As you can see, uh, this pre-field, then we're able to see the various locations. Then we have a uh, Google map with directions. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So this is just uh, this URL, uh, destination from where you're coming from to where you're going. So it's going to open Google maps with those directions already pre-filled. Then lastly, we have Google map with street view. So this is going to open a map and it's going to be by default, it's going to be on street view. So let's see what the URL looks like. So the URL looks like this. And then you're just going to specify that I want the pan viewpoint to be on street view. And what this is going to do when I click this link, it's going to open and it's going to be on street view. So this is what it looks like. And you know, in this video, I wasn't able to cover all the options. So you can come here to the action docs and you can take a look where it says open app link. And here you're going to be able to see all the URLs and what it opens. So here you're going to see mail to, so this is the URL scheme. And then the example, you replace it with the email that you want. So you make it dynamic. Maybe you have a database, maybe you have a backend. It's bringing in emails. 
uh, of that certain user that, is, that, that was clicked. And then once you click, we get the email from the back end. Then we say mail to. And then once you click, you send that user an email. So yeah, you can take a look here at how most of these things work. So we've covered how Yoro schemes allow your app to open external applications. We've covered examples for phone, SMS, email, browser, and Google Maps. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more DraftBit videos, and drop a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.